Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to uh, install Cube IDE and uh, using this um, uh, ST link, we're going to upload a Blink sketch to um, Blink this LED. There's a green LED here that connected to this pin C13. Uh, we're going to uh, Blink it. I show you, I have a power bank here and I plug the power supply. This one is always on now. So when we upload the code from the cube IDE, it's going to blink every half second. Uh, we need to use uh, these four pins. I bend the four pins so that you can see the pin label there are 3.3 uh, volt and the uh, last one is ground and the uh, clock and DIO. So we need to connect that one to uh, this ST link. When you hold this way, uh, these four pins, they're labeled here. And when you bend it like this, the bottom one, not, not the top one, the bottom one, these four pin we need to use 3.3 uh, volt and ground and CLK and data pins. We need to connect that to these four pin and uh, we're going to upload the code. I have connected the pin. This one is like this and this one, it's the bottom four pin. As you can see, the top pins are, we don't use the top pin, the bottom pin and make sure you use the 3.3 volt and uh, now we connect to the laptop and uh, open whatever browser you want to use go to a search engine and type stm32 cube ide enter usually the very first one integrated development environment so click that one And this is the one. So go below. Uh, get software is here. Uh, there are different versions. The WIN, the Windows one, that is the one we need to download, WIN. So click the Get Software button and uh, accept the agreement. And normally you need to fill the form, put your name and uh, last name. Uh, put a valid email address because you need to uh, you need to click that uh, confirmation link. So click the I have understand the tick box this one and click download. Uh, they they will send an email to that email address and you have to verify that email address before you download. So go to that email and you have the ST electronic software download. Open the email and click the download button. Click it. So now it will download. It will go to your download folder. Uh, after we download, it will take some time. Uh, we will come back to that uh, download folder after it download. It took some time to download. Now it's download is completed. So when you go to download folder, you have the file. Double click and uh, extract and extract. After extracting, click the extract. Click next. Uh, agree. Next. Install. Uh, 
for this one also click install now it will take some time so i am going to uh, fast forward it nearly finished is complete so click next uh, create desktop short shortcut is so already ticked click finish now when you go go to the desktop so you, you have the uh, cube ID here double click the cube id and for the first time when you run the cube id it will take long time because it need to download some additional things for you for second third time when you run again it will it will be very fast it can straight away run so first time it will be a bit slow so sometime i will i'll tell you i'm going to fast forward the video and i'll fast forward um, and be patient and this this one i'm not i'm not going to fast forward because soon we'll get something uh, whenever there is a long uh, long uh, running that I will fast forward that time. Uh, for we get get, get this uh, workspace, you can change if you want, but I keep it as it is and click launch. Now when you get this window, there's a start new project you need to click. Before that, uh, the window asks you to allow access. Click allow access. Click the one. And uh, they will ask uh, for the improvement for the statistics purpose. You can click whatever you want. Yes, or ask me later or no thanks. I, I, I click no thanks. Now you need to click start new project. Sorry about the waiting. I, I'm not going to fast forward here because soon it will come later on i will fast forward Just be patient. It's very, very soon you'll get something. When you get this screen, you need to put the part number. So for the blue pill, that's F10. 3C8. Select this one and uh, when you make it bigger, sorry, when you make make this one bigger, uh, 
that is CATX. So select this one and uh, click next and give a name. I'm going to give LED and click finish. Uh, click yes. Now this part it will take some a uh, long time because it go it going to download the uh, blue pill module uh, software so it's only for the first time it will take long so I'm going to fast forward here fast forward here. Now it's ready and we maximize this. Now we need to go to system core and click sys and for the debug serial wire select serial wire. Now this one you can make it bigger you can zoom it like this and the LED we're going to blink is the PC13 you can see from here this one click PC13 and uh, GPIO output this one you click that's it we don't need to do any other setup for now and you can click save button and click yes click yes now it's generating the main dot c file and we need to do the coding for the led blinking in the main dot c file there is a lot of codes here you don't need to worry about it you can just go below until the while loop there is a while loop there while one go below there is a while one the loop here it is the while loop and you we need to put the code for the LED blinking here. So the first one is you type H A L underscore G P I O underscore W and you can hold the control key and the click the space bar. When you do that, you get like this. It auto completes for you. So you come here and put the semicolon. For the GPIO X, you need to put GPIO C because that's a port C. Because that's a C13 we're going to blink. GPIO pin, you need to change it to capital I N uh, underscore 13 pin state you can change it to 1 for high 0 for low first we do for high now next line we, we give the delay that is H A L underscore D capital H A L underscore D simple E you uh, hold the control key and space bar and you get this that hull delay that's the one you need to do that's uh, in millisecond millisecond you need to give uh, we, I give 500 that's a half a second semicolon now that is on we, we need to copy and paste it again 
and uh, we change this to 0. We change this one to 0. That's half a second on, half a second off. That's it. All the codes are done. You click save. Click this hammer button. That's a compile button. Now, if if you haven't uh, if you haven't uh, in, um, plugged in the um, STM32, uh, we need to click the U in the USB port. Clicked in. Now, use the 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 green color run button and click it. That's the code uploading method. And click the debugger, this one. You can use the GDB server. It will work for the original STM32 board. But some of the uh, clone board, this uh, won't work. So uh, normally what I do is I use the open OCD. So it, this one will work with the, all the boards. So I, I usually use this one. And now click the generate option, show generate option, go below and uh, click the reset mode and software system reset. Now click apply, uh, click OK. Now it will, it will upload the code to the STM32 board. Now we can see the progress here. Yeah, shutdown command invoked. So that means all good. I have uploaded the code. Now the green LED is blinking. Now we don't need this wire. We can take it off. And uh, we use the, the power supply again. I use the power bank. Now you see the green LED is blinking. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.